guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted some uh, edited content. Been really enjoying the, the live streams, and we'll have one again tonight with my good buddy Sicko co hosting the Wednesday show every week. Uh, but before that, I wanted to do something for you guys today and talk about a situation in California. So before we dive into that, check out my links, subscribe, like, share. It's appreciated. Now this young woman decided to have a freak out in class because one of her classmates was wearing a Make America Great Again hat. Now, I don't understand the logic here. If someone has different political views than you, you're an idiot for getting mad at them and, and stealing and attacking them. And that's what happened. She decided to try to steal his hat and rip it off his head and make an issue out of it. Let's take a look at some of the footage that was sent in to the local uh, news station and see what happened. A classroom confrontation over a President Trump Make America Great Again hat leads to the arrest of a local high school senior. Tonight, this political push and shove may lead to battery charges. So this 17-year-old who wanted to be violent, uh, apparently assaulted uh, her teacher and her classmate, is now facing charges and good on the police and school. Yeah, this certainly wasn't your typical high school English class. Instead, it turned into a lesson in politics and criminal justice. Politics and criminal justice. Go right now, Show me Video shows some of the tension inside this high school classroom. The teacher trying to subdue a fired up 17 year old senior, Joanne Butler, hurling curse words after she became enraged at a classmate for wearing a President Trump Make America Great Again hat and grabbed it off his head. So she snatches it off his head, starts acting a fool, getting crazy, and swearing and all this other stuff. Maybe just maybe you should let others have their own political views you are not the morality police girl and you do not get to treat people that way get your head out of your ass girl and realize you're 17 years old and you're probably going to juvenile hall now that's a racist and hateful symbol first of all no it's not just because they have different political views than you Dumbass does not make it racist. You don't know his political leanings. It's not a fucking swastika. Get your head out of your ass and freaking realize, you goddamn troll, that all it is is a campaign slogan. All it is is him wanting to express his political leanings. And you can express yours. Just don't lay your hands on him. Go back to the bridge you came out of and chill the hell out. Joanne Butler is now facing two counts of battery, one against her classmate and another against her teacher, who deputies say she slapped as he escorted her out of the room. Butler says she made the scene to express her political beliefs. Maybe you just wake people up in some type of way because it's not cool the environment that our classroom is in. It wasn't handled the way I'd like it. Her father is now facing the legal impact of his daughter's now alleged criminal act centered on the political divide across the country. Well, I don't agree with, you know, grabbing someone's hat and, and verbally talking to him that way. Um, but as far as the issue being brought up, that maybe this is something that needs to be not just, it you know, needs to be brought up. You know what you need to do is give your daughter a good ass whooping because she obviously doesn't care for authority and your mindset of certain things being okay about it because it needs to be brought up. She needs to be brought up by a parent who is a parent and not going to let her freaking walk all over her teachers, fellow humans, stuff like that. Maybe do your job. Maybe. 
The school district's clothing policy does allow students to wear political symbols. In a statement, the El Dorado Union High School District wrote, student and staff safety is our highest priority, and the UMHS administration will continue to cooperate with the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office as the incident is being investigated. Presidential politics heated in a high school English class. Now a student is facing battery charges for a brazen reaction to the president's campaign slogan. Unfortunately, when you break the law, you 17-year-old dumbass, you face the law. And that's what you get. You deserve to face battery charges. You deserve to be sued by that student and that teacher that you assaulted. And I'm glad the school district is cooperating. This girl needs to learn a lesson or she's just going to become a freaking Antifa freak. And besides her arrest, Joanne Butler was also suspended for a week from school. The DA here will likely decide later this week whether to formally prosecute. The DA does need to pursue charges for the simple fact that if he doesn't or she doesn't, then they set a precedent that they're not willing to hold people accountable for their actions when they attack teachers and fellow students. You're setting up this mindset of it's okay because it was a Trump supporter that you attacked. You're setting up this mindset that you can attack the people on the right and have no repercussions. I swear I will be keeping up with this. And if they do not, do not hold her accountable, this is going to set some really bad bad precedent and you're going to make yourselves look like jackasses california and i'm a californian don't be stupid hold her accountable i know she's young and you may not want to set an example but if it was a male student would you not do the same and hold him accountable if it was a trump supporter would you not hold them accountable do what is right here hold her accountable file charges and make, make her understand that these kind of situations are not okay or she's going to grow up to be some freaking human garbage Antifa member who thinks it's okay to assault whoever the fuck she wants. They better damn well hold her accountable. If you like up-to-date news, comic books, gaming, live streams, then you found the right place. Throw a subscription on the channel, turn those notifications on, check out my links below. I will be live tonight around 6.30 p.m. Pacific with my co-host Sicko for a live stream. We will be talking about this situation and much more. So come by, have a conversation with us in the chat, and maybe we'll do some call-ins. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you tonight.